Hello, my fellow friends of the internet. Welcome to my first video for Fandom Friday. I am, of course, kicking off my Fandom Friday videos with a Harry Potter one. If you didn't know, I'm going to be starting um, a series on my channel every Friday. Well, hopefully every Friday. I don't know if I can do it every week, but we'll see where I dedicate Fridays to being a fandom video. Many different ones, um, not just Harry Potter, but I had to start with a Harry Potter one, of course. And I've seen this video going around a lot lately on a lot of people's channels where they resort themselves on Pottermore to see if they still are the house that was chosen for them when they first did it or if they are a different one. If you didn't know, I am a... can't even see it. I'm a Hufflepuff. Let me know which house you represent down in the comments below. I have never known any house but Hufflepuff. Pottermore first sorted me into Hufflepuff and then I have probably taken more than like 10 different sites quizzes about what house you would be in and every single time I've gotten Hufflepuff. So it'd be interesting to see if I actually got a different house a couple years later during Pottermore or if I'm still true and true a Hufflepuff. Fun fact, if you didn't know, Rupert Grant got sorted into being a Hufflepuff. And when I first heard that, it made me so excited that Rupert Grant is in my house. All right, so I'm about to take the quiz on my phone now to see what house I get for the second time doing Pottermore. All right, so join your Hogwarts house. Dawn or dusk is the first question. I think I'm gonna go with Dusk on that one. All right, late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe has a magical source. Do you proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for disturbance? Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground or withdraw into the shadows to await developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. I think I'm going to do proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for disturbance. Next question is, if you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds, the power of invisibility, the power of superhuman strength, power to speak to animals, the power to change the past, the power to change your appearance at will. I, there's quite a few of these that I would want, but I am such an animal lover that the power to speak to animals would be amazing, I think. So that's the one I'm going to go with. Four goblets are placed before you, which would you choose to drink? The foaming frothing silverly li liquid that sparkles as though it contains ground diamonds, the smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums, the golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance all around the room, or the mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Here's the thing, I would do the one that tastes like chocolate because I love chocolate, but I don't like plums gonna go with the one that sparkles like it's containing ground diamonds. All right, which would you rather be? Envied, imitated, trusted, praised, liked, feared. Um, I think trusted is one of the most that I would want for sure. I think trust goes a long way and if you have that with someone, it's good. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, power? I think wisdom would be a good choice. All right, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tawny owl, Screech Owl, Brown Owl, Snowy Owl, Barn Owl, Common Toad, Netterjack Toad, Dragon Toad, Harlequin Toad, Three 
toad tree toad. I am going to go with probably the snowy owl. Heads or tails? Heads, tails. I'm gonna do tails. And the result of my house is, is Hufflepuff, which definitely not surprised because like I said I have never known anything but Hufflepuff um, but it's nice to kind of be reassured I guess again for another time on Pottermore that I am for sure a hundred percent in Hufflepuff. Have you retaken the Pottermore quiz and got a different house? Did you also like me retake it and get the same exact house? Really funny quickly want to mention um, I went to a celebration of Harry Potter in Universal Orlando a couple years back and during the event sometimes the workers would try to guess which house whoever was in front of them was in. I went with my niece Jordan who is a Gryffindor and they at the time when we went was when the illustrated edition of Chamber of Secrets was coming out. They were giving away posters for the release of it. And this was the last day of the event, so they still had so many posters left over and they were just giving them out as much as they can. So it didn't matter if you got one or 20, they needed to get rid of them by the end of the event. And when we walked up to the table to get one, <laughs> they asked if we wanted one, so how many do you want type of thing. And my niece Jordan was like, I'll take like four or something because she was also thinking of her younger siblings which are my other niece and nephew who are getting into Harry Potter and love it which is amazing and she wanted to take a few for like herself and that and for her siblings so they kind of left and like of course yeah you can have as many as you want to grab and they asked me do you, they're like do you want four as well or something and I'm like no I'm okay with uh just the one thank you very much and they we're like, you're Gryffindor to my niece. And they were like, to me, you're most definitely a Hufflepuff. And we didn't have anything on that would like share the information of our house. So we thought it was funny that they like nailed our houses just by a simple interaction. Um, so that was really fun. But that is it for today's Phantom Friday video of resorting myself, <laughs> kind of more like reassuring myself that I am 100% a Hufflepuff. If you have any other Phantom Friday ideas that you want me to kind of try out or other fandoms, let me know down below and we'll talk about it. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you all have a magical, wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!